Sir, he likes it to float. James, remember to tell them to hang the door so it opens out, not in. Jane, Jane, don't forget. You crush the vitamin and hide it in his food. He knows it's in there, but he humors me. But Jane, remember to tell them we want the bed under the windows so they'll have to take out the shelves and patch the wall. Do you have that? Well, all right. Now, let me read this back to you. I'm going to fill the closet with dry food up to this point, close the bed out the window, and hide the vitamin in the wall, but you'll know it's there. Go. Have a great time with Ben's parents in New York. <laughs> ben, mm -hmm. I think you should just go to New York without me. Don't be silly, Laura. I'll take good care of Reuben, and I'll make sure the workmen turn that storeroom into a great bathroom for you guys. Bedroom, Jane. Bedroom. <laughs> I knew it was a bedroom. I was just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Reuben. I'll show you around my apartment. When did they decide to make it a bedroom? Ben, mm -hmm. tell me the truth. Do you think your parents will like me? They're going to love you, Laura. Just like your parents love me. Oh, that settles it. I'm not going. <laughs> Laura. Laura, believe me. My parents are going to be crazy about you. What are they going to say when I go to an AA meeting in New York? They're going to say, take Cousin Sheldon with you. Ben, I can't help being nervous. I mean, your parents were college professors. I was a college dropout. You can study on the plane. No. Hi. Hey, you guys ready to go? We don't want to miss a flight. Richard, I'm not crazy. Am I might have been nervous about this trip. Tell Ben how nervous you were when you first met Linda's parents. I haven't met Linda's parents yet. <laughs> Well, maybe when the baby is born. <laughs> Mom, Dad! I guess they're not home. Listen, they're not here. We might as well stay at a hotel. I can meet them next time we're in town. Laura, come back here. Now, there's nothing to be nervous about. My parents are going to love you, just like your parents love you. Come on, I want to show you around the house. So, this is where Ben Coleman grew up. Oh, look at this. is so cute. They used to measure your height every year. Look at how little you were. No, that was my Uncle Herman. Show me the rest of the house. Well, this is a copy of my first book. That's a copy of my first book. There's a copy of my first book. And here's a case full of copies of my first book. I guess my parents are kind of proud of me. How many did they buy? All of them. This place is like a library. Look at this, they've even got a ladder. Oh, that ladder brings back a lot of memories. Shirley Snyder. You named the ladder? <laughs> Shirley Snyder was our cleaning woman. Every Monday, she would climb the ladder to dust the books. And I, being the gentleman that I was, stood underneath it to steady her. With a camera. <laughs> Laura, would you mind climbing the ladder and dusting some books? I'm going to give you a spanking, Ben. Shirley always did. Mm. <coughs> mm. No, there they are. <laughs> Yo, hey, Barbara. Yo. Oh, it's great. Welcome, to see you. welcome home. Great to see you too, Ben. Let me guess. That pretty girl you were kissing must be Nora. Yes. Okay. How nice to meet you. What a lovely home you have. All these books, and you like to travel. Speaking of traveling, it was a long flight, and we're all pretty tired, so I guess I'll just turn in. Good night. Pleasant dreams. Good night. Don't let her sleep in the kitchen, oh. Ben. Laura! I like that kitchen. Double sinks are good. Dirty dishes on one side, clean dishes on the other. <laughs> Laura, please, sit down. Relax. Stop talking. This is not the impression that I had wanted to make. Don't worry about it. We know about kissing. We do it ourselves. We like it. <laughs> Come here. You look wonderful. So do you, Ben. You've got such a healthy color. It's the kissing. <laughs> so where were you guys? We went to a matinee. We saw yet another play about sexual ambiguity in the nuclear age. <laughs> this one was a musical. <laughs> We've missed you, hon. But I can say California's been treating you well. It sure has. Laura, we've heard so much about you, I feel like I know you already. How's the catering business? Very good. Did you bring any food with you? Uh, no. I'm just a candy bar in my purse, but you're welcome to it. He's kidding. You leave her alone. Come on, I'll whip us up some dinner. 
Is it a Hershey bar? <laughs> No, oh, Mom, you haven't lost your touch. You're still a lousy cook. I, I thought the meal was delicious. You don't have to be polite, Laura. We all accept the fact that Barbara is a terrible cook. That's why we live near the hospital. <laughs> if you guys don't stop insulting me, I'm going to force feed you dessert. Let's go into the living room. It's farther away from the food. <laughs> Uh, would you mind if I use the phone? I'd like to call Jane. Go right ahead. The phone's in the kitchen. So you came out with Richard and Linda. Mm -hmm. you know, if there's one couple I never thought would stay together, it's them. <laughs> How can you say that, Barbara? They're a perfect match. They both love Linda. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're going to come over for brunch on Sunday, just like old times. Oh, honey, we can't on Sunday. We're going to a film festival. You guys are never home anymore. Whatever happened to the quiet couple that I grew up with who used to stay at home with their books? They went out one night for Delhi and never came back. <laughs> we live here now. <laughs> I had some great times in this house. I mean, me and that other couple. <laughs> I can't imagine us not living here. Neither can I. Can you imagine yourselves moving to some tacky condo in Florida like that old couple that used to live next door? <laughs> ben, um, we have something to tell you. What? We bought the tacky condo in Florida from the old couple that used to live next door. No. We sold the house. We're moving there next month. You sold the house? My room, too? Yeah, they wanted the whole thing. I don't understand this. Honey, we've been talking about this ever since we were tired. You're not here anymore. Most of our friends have already moved down there. We want to get away from the cold and the traffic and the Fergusons. And the crime and the noise and the Silvermans. <laughs> Look, I don't mean to knock Florida. I know the June Taylor dancers were very happy there. When I think of going home to visit my parents, I think of this house in Brooklyn. The house where I grew up, my home. I'm sorry, honey, but the neighborhood has changed. We've changed. We don't belong here anymore. What about me? You live in California now. Mm -hmm.